All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Let me ask you an important question. Would it be wrong if I transitioned into a proud black man? Of course not. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be. It would be wrong, right, right? And but dude, this is insane. One of the stories we're covering is a guy named Ollie London. He's a verified creator. Anyway, he transitioned into a Korean person. We're gonna get into that. Following that, Dr. Disrespect, massive streamer, was at a game. He tried to pick up an NBA player. Security guard shoved him out of the way. We have that. The Nelk boys gave away a $350,000 Ferrari. Jeez. Um, and then the no! Yeah, and then the Friend of Me's podcast, they have a brand new co-host. We're gonna get into that, guys. Make sure to subscribe to Innovation Bell. Follow us on Instagram. Boys, ready to go? Let's, Let's go. go. All right, so the first story is Dr. Disrespect, massive streamer picture right here but this is what happened when he was at the Phoenix Suns game Cam Johnson a chance for a three point play Really Kai how the fuck I I'm I'm <laughs> glad I saw it but like cuz like how the fuck would anybody see that I didn't see anything Like it's just bullshit Wait, Wait, this is saying like me showing you this is bullshit yes, it's like I couldn't even I could barely even, I saw Wait, him getting what pushed did I away saw? Okay wait look at the left screen, left side of the screen Johnson a chance for a three point play What where? Wait, that's Dr. Dr. Disrespect trying to, like, pull him Where? up. Where? Right? I don't see anything. No, no, listen, listen. Dr. Disrespect tries to help Trey Young get up, and then the no, ref not... No, not Trey Young, you fuckhead. He's not even playing on the fucking court. Oh, How is that Trey Young? You fucking It's Clippers. Suck. It's Clippers versus the Suns. Bro. He's helping Cam Johnson up. I want to shoot myself. Like, shut the fuck up. And fucking show us where Dr. Disrespect is. God. Don't ever mention another player. Uh, you really <laughs> just said Trey Young? Uh, all right, here's Dr. Disrespect on the left side. Johnson a chance for a three-point play. Bro, I see his glasses. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what it is. You see. Okay, there wasn't a better angle, but that's basically what happened, okay? He was a fuck. <laughs> what the? Okay, but dude, dude, Dr. Disrespect, he tried to go there. He was filming with the crew, and then you made fun of me just because I mixed up a couple NBA players. I'm sorry about that. We're going to keep it going. Let's get to the next story. So, guys, this is Ollie London. He's the big creator. He's very on Instagram, this is what he looked like, and this is him now. Hey guys, I'm finally Korean. I've transitioned. This motherfucker learned the language too. <laughs> yeah. He learned the language. He's, He's trying to be a real Korean, bro. He actually got the starter kit. Yeah. No, that is the Korean starter kit, I believe. I think that's I think that's okay. Yeah, he, he, Dude, uh, you know that trend on TikTok where it's like us as the Asians, we don't like we don't take you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like with somebody else, that, that's I think that's the situation a little bit. Let's keep it going. He's British, so let's see what he says. I'm so, so happy I've completed my look. I'm finally Korean, guys. I have the eyes. Just had a brow lift as well. Um, Doesn't mean you're Korean. You never came out of a no, Korean yeah, vagina. Yeah. You've never been probably to Korea. Yeah. Like, shut the fuck up. Yeah, I know South Korea won't take you. But I'm probably North Korea. Will yeah, North Korea might open, open arms. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, what happens if, like, a couple years? That's offensive to say. Like, dude, that you're not actually Korean. Yeah, we'll be canceled that's in a couple a years fucking... and then we'll be on the news. Dude, we're going to be canceled in two years because of what we say today. That's yeah. basically what's going to happen because of this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Suck my dick then from two years from now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah this, is, this is insane. All right, let's keep going. So, I'm so happy. Finally, I've been trapped in the wrong body for eight years and that's the worst feeling in the world when you're trapped and you don't feel like you can be yourself no wait, only for eight years how old is he i think he's like 25 but like recently <laughs> he feels more korean you know he went to kkbq one day and he goes dude i am fucking korean <laughs> that's what it's like me cooking my own korean food i am korean i am now. korean like you can be yourself but finally i'm korean i can be myself and i'm so so happy Okay, speak Korean then, bitch. Speak Korean right now. Why? Speak it right now. Why? Do, I'm so, so happy I can't move my face. <laughs> <laughs> Like what? All right, that's what I want to cover right there. Let's keep it going because that is, I don't, well, guys, what do you think in the comment section? Like, genuinely, what does the fans think? Because I really kind of don't care, but I can see why it is pretty offensive what to some What do you mean people. you don't care? I'm like, what Wait, if I told my white friend that you can't say the N-word? Okay, cool. Two weeks later, comes back fully black. <laughs> I can just say it in our rap. Yeah. Because I got, the, I got yeah, surgery. That's true. It's that's, like, what the fuck? It's like one of us just really going get, like. Yeah, that, that, I get what you mean. All right, let's keep it going. The massive podcast, Frenemies. Uh, that's the Ace3, Ace3, and uh, Trisha Paytas podcast. They broke up due to some issues, uh, and then now they have a new co-host. Guess who it is? What? Ooh, Lana Rhodes. Lana Rhodes? Whitney Lana Rhodes Cummings. and Ethan Klein? That doesn't make any sense. That'd be kind of funny. I guess my wildest guess is Whitney Cummings. Whitney Cummings? All right, let's check it out. It's actually his mom. Hey, bet you didn't expect to see us here again. But the good news is, or let's, it's a very exciting to introduce our new co-host, my mom. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Wait, what? Yeah, she's his mom. It's him and his mom doing a podcast. I mean, that's pretty funny. How many views? It has 2 million views, so she's doing well. Yeah, no, it is doing pretty well. You had Trisha actually react to this news coming out. This is what she said about it. Thoughts on the family's podcast? I think, um, I think it's good. I mean, obviously, like, he should continue it. I, like, if it stays with his mom, I think that's really cute. 
I always do stuff with my mom. I think it's really cute. If he gets a new co-host, I think that's really good too. I mean, there's damn Trisha. All these damn donos. What the <laughs> fuck? I know, bro. Dude, she makes a bag every day, bro. It's nuts. Holy shit, bro. Yeah. There's Brett out there. You know, we had ads lined up for a year. And, like, why leave that? You know, I'm happy. I'm glad. I support. I support it. Always. Okay. okay, Trisha being humble for once. I know. You know. It's like you can't really feel that hurt if you got replaced by his fucking mom. Yeah. Like, Trisha's I, actually being like genuinely like decent here. You I'm not surprised she didn't like call out Charlie Emilio on this too. So <laughs> all right, let's keep it going. So now the big thing is Nelk is making big waves on YouTube because they gave away a three hundred fifty thousand dollar full send car. We'll check that out real quick. This guy's about to get a three hundred fifty thousand dollar car. He knows we're coming, so we had to let the winner know. But uh, let's call him. Come on. Yo, what's good? What's up, bro? Sienna. Nice to meet you, bro. I thought this whole show was a scam. Yeah, this shit's, this shit's the real deal, Dude, man. This is just my whip. Yep. Your whip. Yeah, let's go check it out. Oh. Yeah. There it is. I just bought a ride, then I switched guys. I just like want to hit us in a ride. That's fucking crazy. Full set yeah, can do that insane. shit, dude. I want to see the winner. I yeah, the winner. no. I just saw a tweet that came out today that their merch alone makes around seventy mil a year. That's what's what going on right fuck? now. That is insane. Yeah. That's wild. See, dude, dude. see, guys, if you just buy our merch, we can start giving away fucking Ferraris like for to you yeah, guys. guys. Like, if holy you just shit. buy more of our merch, you have a chance to win a Ferrari, right? Yes. Right now, we can maybe doll out a Prius. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But soon we'll get to that. Ferrari we can doll out a Prius, maybe. With wait, how much do we sell? <laughs> buy more. That's that, that. That's the answer to that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is mine, yeah? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Holy shit. Yo, Croc Gang is Fucking real. high set. Let's go. Dude. That then you can just be like, Mom, every time I watch a milk video, this is why. <laughs> this is you. why. Yeah, no, that, that that's nuts, bro. Bro, uh, wouldn't, you, wouldn't you just sell the car? I would just sell the car. Yeah, but dude, if I was doing it, I would just kind of take off the full send side. Uh, dude, like, like they're doing I mean? it like way different. Like, fucking, other creators are like giving away like PS5s and shit. Like, they're giving out Ferraris. This yeah. is like wild. It's, I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, it depends how you look at it. Because a creator that could like give away six Xboxes and make six different people happy, whereas this is one fucking Ferrari, which is like. You know what the bigger problem is? During these giveaways, like Mr. Beast does, they buy the car, yeah. but then the person that owns it has to pay the taxes on it. So suddenly, this person gets like a twenty-five thousand dollar bill. Right? Oh, that's fucked. That's why a lot of game show contestants they return the prize because they don't want to pay the taxes on it. Oh shit! So can can, can you just sell it though? You, you could just sell it, yeah, but you still have to you know you have to make sure you can sell it and get the taxes back. You know, it's all that stuff. Yeah. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to subscribe to the Christian Bell. Follow us on Instagram down below, and obviously the merch is live at thesyncshop.com. <clears throat> the new man podcast is dropping today. He's fighting Blueface. That'll be linked down below, so go check that out and as well. And we filmed a podcast with Bryce Hall yesterday. That's going to come out at the end of the week. Make sure to subscribe down below. We'll see you guys next time, guys. Peace out, boys. Peace. Peace. Peace.